We are young, we run free, stay up late, we don't sleep, got our friends, got the night. Who would you classify as being the best at sports? Who would you consider a gardener? Who would you consider a bad driver? Who would you classify as a terrorist? Who would you consider being the least smart? Who would you consider being the most greedy? Who would you consider a taxi cab driver? Growing up as a kid, how were you introduced to stereotypes and racism? And how do you think it's changed now? Well, I think the first important thing to say is, how old am I? I'm 53 years old. So people from my generation, probably the way we were influenced the most um, regarding racism would be through the media, TV. Um, back in, say, the 1960s or 70s, uh, when there were TV programs on, uh, cop shows and things like that, there were always two white cops chasing the bad guy, and the bad guy always seemed to be black or Hispanic or non-white. So that was prevalent in pretty much all the TV shows that had policemen and things like that. Um, now in modern day media, we have social media too, but even on TV nowadays you'll see interracial couples, you see TV shows that don't really, um, weren't set up like they were back in the 60s or 70s, so kids now get a better um, perspective on what is reality, and also it helps to do away with fake stereotypes that existed, you know, when I was in the 60s or 70s, so it's, uh, it's changed for the better, definitely. Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. Who would you classify as being the best at sports? Who would you consider a gardener? Who would you consider a bad driver? Who would you classify as a terrorist? Who would you consider being the least smart? Who would you consider being the most greedy? Who would you consider a taxi cab driver? Who would you classify as being the best at sports? Who would you consider a gardener? Who would you consider a bad driver? Who would you classify as a terrorist? Who would you consider being the least smart? Who would you consider a taxi cab driver? What can society do to prevent kids from learning about stereotypes? We need to realize that society is a culmination of all of our families. So whatever starts in the home in terms of prejudice is probably the most influential because when the child can learn from their parents that we are all made of one and that color is just a form of um, God's creation and us being different, that there is no better. We're all just of one and um, society unfortunately has some practices that need to um, be revisited back in the home. So I think that even if kids learn this, that they can um, come back home and relearn what is right. So. Hey. 
Who would you classify as being the best at sports? Who would you consider a gardener? Who would you consider to be the smartest? Who would you classify as a terrorist? Who would you consider being the least smart? Who would you consider being the most greedy? Who would you consider a taxi cab driver? On the other side of the street I knew Stood a girl that looked like you I guess that's deja vu But I thought this can't be true Cause you moved to West LA Or New York or Santa Fe Or wherever to get away from